Hello everyone. This is going to be a brief video, more of an announcement. We're going to Europe at the end of July and we'll be traveling through different countries and staying with our brothers and sisters for a couple of months. You might wonder why we're doing this. Well, we did it last year and we found it to be very, very encouraging, not just for ourselves, but also for others. The reason that we're doing this is the reason we do all the videos as well, not simply to overturn the false teachings of our old organization or other church false doctrines such as the Trinity, and not just to teach what we do know about the truth of the Bible or to help others understand how to study the Bible on their own. That's all part of it. But the most important thing, the reason that the apostles went from town to town and why Paul traveled to foreign lands, was to help others understand the wonderful hope that we have. And even more than that, to gather together. It's important to gather together, just as it says in Hebrews 10, 24 and 25. We shouldn't abandon that because we are family. And by family, we mean we support one another, forming part of the body of Christ, also called the temple of God, which uh, is a metaphor that Paul uses. So, we want to encourage our brothers and sisters who are leaving false religion and yet who have not lost their faith in Jehovah nor Jesus to continue to gather together, avoiding the trap of becoming part of a religion. Because the moment you become part of a religion, you have to adopt the teachings of that religion. If they go contrary to what the Bible says, well, you're stuck. You either have to conform to them or leave the religion again, which is what we've done with Jehovah's Witnesses. But we have the truth of the Bible. We don't need to be led by any man. We simply can gather together, as they did in the first century, sharing meals, singing, studying the Bible together, partaking of the bread and wine. And that's what we hope we can do, basically, by traveling from place to place, serving as a focal point for others to make that effort to get together. Where are we going to be? Well, we're going to be in the Netherlands from the 25th to the end of July. Then we'll be in Switzerland from the 2nd of August to the 16th, in various places, staying with our brothers and sisters. We'll be in Germany from the 17th to the 26th of August. Then we're traveling to Budapest, Hungary from the 29th to the 31st. Then we'll be in England from September 4th to the 27th. Of course, in the interim, we will be traveling to other places. I won't give you the full itinerary, well, we hope to visit our brothers and sisters in Latvia, Poland, Austria, Slovakia, the Czech Republic, and Slovenia, and anywhere else we're invited. If you'd like to meet up with us and with others in your area, and you think you might be within distance of where we'll be, please contact us. We can, you can email us, and I'll put my email address in the description field of this uh, video, maletti.vivlon at gmail.com. Or you can contact my wife, Wendy. Her email is wendy at bereanvoices at gmail.com. I'll put them both in the description field of this video. Just a couple of scriptures I'd like to share now to back up what we're doing, because I think it's very important to realize that we're doing this based on the commands and encouragement we get from God's Word. So if you want to read Ephesians 4, 3 to 6 with me, I'll read it from the New Living Translation. It says, Make every effort to keep yourselves united in spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body and one spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, in all, and living through all. And the other one that encourages us, especially those of us who have come out of false religion, having been deceived for so long, is also from Ephesians, a little further down. Still, chapter 4, but now 14 to 16. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of this body, the ecclesia, which is the assembly, the called out ones. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly as each part does its special work. It helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. 
I look forward to seeing many of our brothers and sisters in the coming months, and so does Wendy, from the end of July through August and into September. Hopefully we'll meet together. Thank you very much.